In less than 12 hours, polls opened here in New York for the primary elections. It's been a season of tense battles, pitting some Democratic powerhouses against each other. News for us, Andrew Siff is live in the East Village with the races to watch. Andrew? Right, Chuck, and I'm standing on the border of two congressional districts. North of 14th Street, that's New York 12. South of 14th, where I'm standing, that's the hotly contested New York 10. We're talking about incumbents and challengers and seats in Congress at stake, and a lot of it playing out right here in Manhattan. Rarely have incumbents faced such an uncertain primary eve. Whether it's Jerry Nadler squaring off against his longtime friend and colleague, Carolyn Maloney, and challenger Serge Patel. It's looking good. I'm getting a very good reception on the west side and the east side. Um, but, you know, you never take an election for granted. I've never lost an election, and I don't intend to start now. North of the city, it's incumbent Congressman Sean Patrick Maloney trying to hold off a challenge from State Senator Alessandra Biaggi. And then there's Congressman Mondaire Jones, who moved from his former district representing Rockland and Westchester after the courts redrew the maps, reshaping New York 10, which used to be mostly Western Manhattan. Now it's Lower Manhattan and a big chunk of Brooklyn. I am the only candidate in this race who is a sitting member of Congress with a track record of delivering progressive results for New York City. Other contenders include City Council Member Carlina Rivera. My roots, my record, and the relationships that I've had and the coalition that I've built are really reflective of the campaign that we have run, which is to improve our city. Tomorrow is election day. We just finished early voting yesterday. And her City Council colleague, Yulene New. I think that it's really, really important for us to make sure that we actually have somebody who's reflective of of our district. Liz Holtzman and Joanne Simon also running, but the perceived front runner might be Dan Goldman, a member of the Levi Strauss family, made his own name as a prosecutor in the Trump impeachment trial. I have unique experience having been on the front lines uh, fighting against the authoritarianism that is now rampant in the Republican Party. But the big field of candidates and big block of undecided voters may make Tuesday unpredictable. Do you know who you're voting for? Not as a right now, no. Are you planning to vote? Yes, I am. And not only are there a lot of undecided voters, there are a lot of absentee ballots. The Board of Elections telling us today that 34,000 absentee ballot applications were sent out in New York 12 alone. That's the Maloney-Nadler race. So the absentees could be decisive, and it's possible we won't have an official outcome tomorrow night. We're live in the East Village. Andrew Siff, News 4 New York.